HD Production Live here with Nicholas Tabarak, producer at Darius Films. Nicholas, how did you get involved with producing? Well, I um, I read a uh, I read a book about Hollywood, about film the film industry before I was in the business, and I was really fascinated by it. I, I loved how how the business worked and how films got made. This while I was in university, so I figured that's that's what I want to do. And, and I call myself a blue collar producer. And what I mean by that is I started from the ground up. I didn't, you know, a lot of producers are executives or lawyers or distributors or kind of like, or bankers that kind of like move laterally into producing. I was a PA, you know, which is basically a gopher. I was an accountant, I was a production manager, I was a line producer. So I just slowly, slowly, slowly climbed that ladder and sort of started at the bottom and, and learned, learned that side of it. Great. And now you are living in Los Angeles, but you also work here. How does it feel be to be back in Toronto? Well, I love being in Toronto during the festival because it's, it's the one week of the year where Toronto is the absolute center of the entertainment industry, you know, at least the film industry. And the whole world comes to us, you know. So it's kind of a nice feeling to be host, you know. And, and you know, I know all the restaurants and the bars and I know all the places. So I'm not, I'm not visiting for once, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, it's nice, and it's great that Toronto has this high-profile event, and everyone's everyone's here. You know, like uh, on the on the flight out uh, yesterday, um, you know, I recognized four people on the plane. You know, so it's, uh, it's kind of nice to sort of the everyone's everyone's descending upon Toronto during this week. Great, a real nice sense of community. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, you you walk up and down King Street, and sort of like you can't go two or three blocks without saying hello to you know half a dozen people. It's nice. Mm -hmm. And you had a film called Defendor with Woody Harrelson and Kat Dennings. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. So that played in Toronto. Uh, what are we? Two, that played in Toronto 2009, mm -hmm. and we sold it. There, we had a great sale. Uh, Sony uh, Pictures bought it, and they released it in 2010. Um, it was fantastic. I mean, we, we had a we had a great screening, and Woody and Kat and, and Elias Corteus and uh, uh, Michael Kelly, uh, Sandra. Did Sandra come? She might have had to be doing on her series at the time, but every, you know the cast came out and, and and it was a great showing. The audience loved it, so it was really it was a real great launch and pad mm -hmm. for the film. So that was very exciting, yeah. Okay, great. And you have a few upcoming projects. Can you tell me a bit about those? Yeah. So I made a film last year, or made a film two years ago, which played in Toronto last year, called The Beginner's Guide to Endings, and that was uh, that's with Harvey Keitel and Scott Kahn and Paulo Costanzo and Jason Jones and Trisha Helfer, J.K. Simmons. Um, and, and that played in the, at a gala at Roy Thompson Hall last year. Again, really well received, and we sold the picture around the world because of that screening. And that writer-director, Jonathan Sobel, his next script I have under option. And uh, based on the strength of Beginner's Guide, I've managed to put that one together. So that one will be shooting early 2012. And uh, so far, we've got a great cast assembled. You have um, Kurt Russell, Matt Dillon, uh, Jay Baruchel. And we're still putting some more pieces of the of the of the pie together, so um, that's really exciting. That's going to be a nice and it's it's a great script, one of the best scripts I've ever read. Mm -hmm. And Jonathan's extremely talented, and this is going to be a second film now, so all that kind of like learning curve stuff is over with. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm very excited by that one. Great. And what are your goals for the future? Is there any type of film you'd like to be involved in, or anything in particular that you're looking to do? Yeah, I want to be involved with a film that makes a hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the money. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually, the, I joke, but it's actually not about the money, really. I mean, that's nice, and it'd be great to have both. But, but I, I, I want to make great films, you know? I mean, I, I, I love to get something that gets award recognition, that gets critical praise, and if it does great box office, all the better. But yeah, I want to be doing, you know, bigger films with, with high-profile actors and, and, and just... Uh, I want to reach more people. Is, is is basically the bottom the bottom line. You know, it's great to make an indie, but indies are tough to break out. You know, and, and they're not seen by a whole lot of people. You know, I really want to get out there and get a film that's on three thousand screens. You know, mm -hmm. that that those are the the kind of numbers I'd love to reach. Great. And is there a website where we can check out your upcoming work? Um, there's a website where you can check out my past work. Mm -hmm. Upcoming work is always difficult because you don't want to announce things. You've got so many things on the go. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going to happen, right? So if I, if I have like a dozen or 20 things in development, of those, two or three will get made. It's just the, you know, the odds. So if I announce them all on a website and then you know, nothing ever happens to them, it just doesn't look good. You know? mm -hmm. So the website really, I'm probably giving a much more long <laughs> boring answer to the question than you cared for. But the website tells you what we've done in the past, not what's upcoming. 
uh, and that is uh, dub 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 Darius Films, spelled D A R I U. I don't counting like a numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, D A R I U S Films dot com. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Nicholas, and best of luck with all of your upcoming projects. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live.